Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Monster Prom. It is Michael, Polity, and Danny. Yo, yo, yo. Step aside. We're back again. And we are about to go again. hit up the party outdoors again with Wanda. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Busting moves all over the place. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, who seems a bit sad. What? <laughs> he explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. Okay. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. Is that a real thing? I don't think so. <laughs> they might be working on it now. They might be developing it, though. That would be fun. Yeah. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. Aww. You're so fun. I'm fun. <laughs> you mainly have money, but you're also fun and charming. I like that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, Miranda summons you. Ooh. Looks like we're on the right path with you. Hi! It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman goons. Ooh. Thank you for coming, my dear. I have finally decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. I am destined to be the queen of prom. The royal ascension is nigh. We must prepare. Most of my competition is naive. They foolishly assume that the prom queen is a purely ceremonial title. Except Ursula Jr. She's proving to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. Two underwater queens going for Disney the is really quaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, those eyes. Which is why we must destroy her reputation immediately. Any thoughts? Let's convince everyone that she likes humans. Fart joke. Those are your two options to try and win up this I princess. I don't like... What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with the fart joke? Fart jokes are universally loved. Excuse you me. You know what? Let's just... Ugh, I'm scared. Uh... What if she likes humans? Like her whore mother. No one. <laughs> Hear that, Janine? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I don't think. I think it's kind of a universal thing that all the monsters hate humans. So. I... Wow, prejudice. Ooh. I'm just saying, based off of my two previous playthroughs, the veteran that I am. Oh, I have two <laughs> you know what? I just. Yeah, Fart no, what jokes are, you are too mediocre and childish, so let's go with the... I feel like, very <laughs> attacked. <laughs> She's right, though. Wow! <laughs> so, so we're going to try the human thing? Yeah, we... Yeah. No. All right. She likes human. Hey, smart. Hey! It doesn't take much to make someone look bad in this day and age. You, however, are monsters and went for a total overkill. Yes! You baby. hire a Chinese hacker to what? plant 10 years of pro bono work rescuing human babies from lawnmowers in Ursula's name. What? At recess... Dr. Baby Love of the Baby Love Institute appears out of nowhere and presents her with a humanity award. Yes! This will severely harm her standing with the evil lawnmower creative co co contingent. <laughs> these are these are tough words. Whoa! And it is far away from us. Wow. The evil lawnmower creator contingent. What is, is that? A lot. Oh, well, I gained two boldness and one smart! That's an important voting block. They're the ones who keep the schoolyard so tidy. Wouldn't be one smarts, just one smart. Shh. Well, it's going to the category of smarts. Shouldn't it be plus one, two smarts? Shh. Probably. But that would be too hard to program in the writing. <laughs> I'm a grammar nerd. Something happened to Wanda. Wanda. Oh no. Oh no. Did Ursula Jr. get me? That weekend, Vera invites you and some friends to an abandoned warehouse to help kill a dude. You <laughs> wouldn't miss it for the world. Wow. Oh, okay. When you get there, you find Miranda and Damien are there too. Also a naked fish man tied to a chair. Oh. I'm so glad he could make it. We're going to execute this fishman for the crimes he has committed against us. Can I just say, I also like how lucky it's worked out that anytime there's a three-person scene, we're all getting to speak one character. Knock on wood. <laughs> we are a Dean. Do you know this fish attempted to express a controversial opinion about my father? And he cut in front of me in line at the pharmacy. Ooh. And I'm sure he did something to me too. Let's kill him. Ooh. Now hold on there, Damien. We can't just kill this son of a bitch. Jeez, <laughs> language fear up. This is an execution. We have to make an example of him. Personally, I'm a big fan of quantity over quality. Why don't we just kill his family? We already did that. Why do you think he was saying such treasonous things in the first place? <laughs> oh, <laughs> now it makes sense. That tracks. <laughs> Miranda's right. 
We need to do something truly extravagant to this upstart. Okay, I'm cool with that. As long as you guys are paying. Oh, we're not paying. That's what Wanda's here for. I'm sorry, what? Hell no. You're not spending your hard-earned cash on this. Luckily, you've got a super rich friend you love to take advantage of in emergencies. What? Oh, shit. Oh, rude! Oh, rude! Oh, no, oh, Betrayal! No. I haven't chosen! Ember is the natural choice. She spends money just to keep from drowning in it. Let's bring in Mirror. He is so rich he can actually afford to eat organic food. <laughs> It's time to choose between I, your boys. I feel like you guys should debate. Well, here's the thing. I don't know how this is going to work. If this is, on one hand, going to actually improve our standing with our desired person, or if this is going to hurt us with the other people. Let me tell you why you should choose Michael. <laughs> Number one. He's Michael. <laughs> Number two. Nothing says... I love a princess like bankrupting a shadow guy. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, Polity. Everyone knows it. I'm also, cool with this if you want to go with it. Also, we were raised by the same pack of wolves. They will devour you if you go against the pack. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Hashtag wolf pack. Hashtag no lone wolves. Mirror, Hashtag Mirror, pack you're so life. rich and you can eat organic food and I'm scared of my wolf parents, so... <laughs> We're going with you. Cool. Yes. yes. Good old mirror. Always willing to pitch in a few bucks towards a good execution. With this financial backing, you're able to purchase the top of the line offering from luxurymurdercontraptions.biz. <gasps> the Meat Reaver 20XX. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Damien, stop drooling. Your saliva will melt the hole in the floor and I'll lose the security deposit on this warehouse. The Meat Reaver 20-something 20, 20 looks like a cross between a lawnmower, a beehive, a volcano, a repeating crossbow, and 50 gallons of whole milk. Oh, whole that whole milk. milk. <laughs> Damien, sweetie, we all know how much you love murder, but all this excitement is unseemly. You think I'm this excited just because of the murder? Miranda, this is the Meat Reaver 20-something. It's 20XX, <laughs> they're just two letters. <laughs> the only murder contraption that also makes a perfect cappuccino. What? Oh, we stand. You all, <laughs> you all settle down for a lovely evening of hot drinks and death. Of course, you'd be a bad friend if you didn't invite Mirror over to join. You each gain plus two creativity and plus one bullet. God point. damn it! Yes, yeah. girl, yes! Sorry. Well, now I feel bad because uh -huh. I didn't get the reward. Well, you didn't want to help me, so that's what happens. We boom, 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 baby. You know what? I'm going to make my own cappuccino. <laughs> Let's trade places. Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud. Um, A vibrator. A, a double-sided black dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Go on theme, Michael, or you're canceled. <laughs> what? Go on theme, Michael, or you're canceled. Um... What's your favorite sex object? Comment below. Mmm. <laughs> I'll go with a ball gag then. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a gag for your balls or a... <laughs> no. Or a ball for your gag? <laughs> yeah. I know what a ball gag is. It's making a pun. <laughs> Growing Calm up in down. the San Francisco area, you, you see a fair bit of those. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Castro District, baby. Player orders decide based on how useful the selected object would be as your only belonging on a desert island. <laughs> Start debating now. Okay, a double-sided dildo is already twice as useful as Polybe's because A, there's two dicks, and B, it's not battery-operated. All of these are horrible items to have on a deserted island. Oh, and it's more useful than a ball gag because... Well, ball, ball gags are not useful at no, all. No, not at all. You can use the double-sided dildo as, a, like, sort of like a weapon to kill an animal and eat it on the island. Here's the, th here's the one thing that a ball gag would be useful, though, for. You could use it as a strap around, like, branches on trees to, like, rip them off so that you could get lumber for your support. How strong is this ball gag, Michael? <laughs> top of the line. But even a top of the line ball gag is just going to be made out of leather. Like, it's just, it's not going to be able to, like, I mean, it depends on how strong the tree is. <laughs> how strong is your tree? Comment below. <laughs> 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 All right. You know what? We'll put Ember first, and then Yay! we'll put Wanda second, and Mirror third. Because I'm not spending more time on this ludicrous debate. <laughs> okay. 
Should we spend longer on this ludicrous debate? <laughs> Comment, Comment below. below. Okay. All right. We all we're all on board with the bit now. Hooray! All right, Ember, you start us off. Where are we going? Okay. Um. Okay. I'm dizzy. Um. We're, <laughs> um, we're going to. I want to go to the bathrooms now. I want to be a slut. <laughs> Sluts go to the bathroom. That day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms, but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Oh. Obviously. Who the fuck runs security here? <laughs> anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained plus two boldness. Yeah. You are so well balanced. You're literally sevens and sixes across the board. You know what? I'm into that. Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned and oh. only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. Ugh, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here for it, aren't you? There you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a conseiller. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing people. <laughs> I call it murder. Why does <laughs> listen, no one use ease? Listen, it's the same joke over and over again, and I am 1,000% here for this joke. I have nothing but time for this joke. <laughs> Let's continue. But, it turns out, the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps? Assassination and... apps. <laughs> assassination apps, she. Assassination, <laughs> she. They're all from the 1920s, she. <laughs> assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack. And since you're such a good advisor, and I was raised by a pack of wolves, wow! Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free-range organic murders. So much organic going on. B viral marketing, literally. Tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. Oh, it's Ooh. always a virus. I love killing people. All right. And through large quantities of sneezes. Uh, sneezes so get diseases. That's our marketing campaign. Do it. You can Work. do that? Great. You can use my private chemical weapons laboratory. That's kinky. Who and is this so organ? A self-made Gorgon lady. She is a fully modern woman. I love it. She should not be in high school. This is working better than I could have ever imagined. Demand for murder has gone through the roof since you released that virus. Sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male lactation, cobra feet, time dilation, <laughs> rigor, mor rigor mortis, and rectal what? teeth. Rectal teeth! What? We all focused on one different aspect of that. I'm confused about how cobra have feet. Listen. When rectal teeth are possible, anything is possible, honey. <laughs> That's fair. You can chew your food <laughs> twice. Do you have rectal teeth? Comment, Comment below. below. Now, see, rule of threes. We already did the threes. Um, <laughs> that's how comedy works. <laughs> Thanks for explaining that for me. Oh, no, it's, there's more. <laughs> Renegade spleen, microaggressions, sudden tattoos, what? hair trauma, liquefaction, and coughing. Oh, God, not coughing. Listen, I'm a master of hair trauma, and let me tell you something. It's traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's well worth it for the profits I'm raking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing selling people the, the antidote for all those side effects. Mm. It's not actually an antidote, though. It's actually just some heroin. Oh <laughs> Same difference. My God. Danny, I think you are, you're on the right track here. <laughs> Listen. Let's get you Vera. Let's get you this Gorgon lady. Did you know they used to give heroin to babies as a cough suppressant? Yeah, the real world is, actually, is exactly as amoral as this video game. But whatever, you gain plus your creativity and plus one money. I learn something new every day. And the Sorry. mower is back outside our window. Sorry. This is not good. We Sorry. love lawn care. But, we stand. But not at this point. We're busy. All right, Wanda, where are you going? Um, the gym. Okay. She's getting her physical Ooh. fitness. That's a pose. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Yes, baby. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. I would totally do that. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Yeah. And your charm's now double digits in ten. Ooh, ooh. You notice Liam and Miranda talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying Jim for a change. Something must be terribly wrong. You go over to see what it is. <laughs> oh, what was my voice for this guy? 
Just read. Well now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of y of the y Oh, no. <laughs> Well, now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make your own sport seems unorthodox, don't you think? That voice changed halfway through. That's called acting. It's an evolution. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, but ordinary sports are ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we two could do so much better. I've already got an idea, actually. I have had an idea. For sports since before there were even sports. I call it art. No teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. I have so many questions and no answer will suffice. Art! Brilliant! We will play with it with watercolors and sequence, and there shall be a sports bard and a goalie lor laureate. 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 And. It's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art doesn't really sound like a sport. Why, it doesn't have the word ball anywhere in it! That's easily solved. We'll call it Art Ball. Oh! Well, yes, obviously that's much better. But let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other totally stumped. Their dream hangs in the balance. Time to step in. All right, Wanda! Obviously, the sports bar assigns inspiration kicks to the metaphysical linebacker, who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? Or don't you see? The points were inside of us all along. Oh, definitely the first one. <laughs> I didn't even understand half of that. But yes. All right. Oh, there's a rule book. Well, that changes everything. Can I see it? You hand him the rule book, which is actually just a copy of Infinite Jest that you made a new cover for. Hmm, this rule book is pretty unconventional. But you know what they say. Sometimes it takes a crooked snake to make the corn cob dance. I'm sorry? I'm getting that tattooed on my back. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, yes. Definitely. I hear them say that all the time. So... <laughs> you okay? But there were ellipses. Oh god, the ellipses <laughs> means he she's, waits a whole year. She's going by Strindberg rules, everybody. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Two hours later. Can we start putting a team together? Oh yes, sure. Uh, whatever gets you kids fired up is fine by me. Huzzah! You're able to secure the broadcast rights for Varsity Art Ball, and you make bank! You gain plus two money and plus one creativity. Love that. And on that happy note, we'll stop there for this episode. Well, woo! Hooray! I think Paula V right now is crushing it. I think she's got her sights on Miranda. I am slowly getting it in with Damien. And you and Vera are having an interesting up and down path, but I'm here for it. You don't understand women like I do, Michael. <laughs> and you never will. Oh. How sad for you. Okay. Ouch. Well... If you like what you've been listening to so far, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Goodbye, Bye -bye. Internet.